families have splashing around, it's important to stay educated about swim safety. And Jenny Hewlings, Aquatics Director at Lifetime San Antonio, joins me. And any time of year, swim safety is important, yes. but especially over the summer because mm -hmm. so many families are hitting the water, right? right? Yes, absolutely. So drowning is actually the second leading cause of accidental injury death for kids ages 1 to 14 following car accidents. So it's super important that summer is a big, big time for pool safety, like you said, year round though as well. So we wanna make sure that we have all those kids summer safe and ready to go at the pool every single summer. What is the number one tip to prevent drowning? Absolutely investing in swim lessons. So getting started at a young age is gonna help that swimmer be more confident and build those skills in the water. It's also gonna help that parent a little bit. And here at Lifetime, we do have a year round continuous program that we run. So we really try to get the kids in as quickly and as early as possible starting at four months so that we have those swim skills and they're ready for the summer fun. All right, I'm here with Danielle Ungai, and you are a parent of five children, right? We've got two of them right here in front of me. Um, tell me about the importance of teaching swim safety. Um, so swim safety is super important to us. Um, my mom was really afraid of the water when we were kids. We didn't get in the water much, so with my kids, we have them in the pool at about six months when we start them off. Um, always starting off with learning how to float on your back first. That's a really important, just life-saving skill. Um, they all take them swim lessons. Um, what we, safety basics do you teach them? So floating on your back is a huge one. Not running by the pool is a huge one. Making sure there's always an adult present when they're in the water. Um, learning how to hold their breath. So, uh, life vests are always important. So we never use the ones with the air in them. We always use the Coast Guard approved ones. Okay. So what are some things folks need to remember to stay safe in the water? So always have a swimmer to non-swimmer ratio of typically one to three. It's just the best kind of ratio to make sure that you have your contact of the kids at all times. So you should always have one adult swimmer to at least three non-swimmers for that. Okay. And also uh, here at Lifetime, we have our 2510 rule, which is the most important rule that we have at Lifetime. So basically any kids under the age of 12, if they cannot swim 25 meters, which is just one time down in our lap pool, they have to have um, a parent within 10 feet of them at all times. And maintain visual contact, right? Yes, it only takes yes, a second. Yeah. Absolutely. And just because we have lifeguards on duty doesn't always mean that you should never be watching your kids. So always have your eyes on your kids at all times, um, whether you're at lifeguard pool or a non-lifeguarded pool and learning CPR. Yes, absolutely. Um, it's super basic as far as when you're going through that. We do offer classes at Lifetime and you can always go to the Red Cross website and find courses for that as well. And of course, flotation devices, always a good idea, right? Especially yes, for absolutely. a non-swimmer. Yes, absolutely. So always make sure that you have something that is approved by the U.S. Coast Guard. So it'll always say on the inside that it's U.S. Coast Guard approved. So you have life jackets here. We also have these that we call putter jump, puddle jumpers. So they go across the front and hook in the back for the kids and then cover their arms. Um, and again, just always look for uh, US Coast Guard approved uh, flotation devices.